planning to go to Cebu, and wondering what Cebu tourist spots you should visit? Surely, Cebu has many beautiful sites. And, you would want to go to all, or choose from the best Cebu tourist attractions guide. Find out what and where these places are. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and the notification bell for more updates, only here in, Mang, Lag Tabai. Let's begin in the city proper. First up is Cebu Towers Temple, located in Cebu City's Beverly Hills subdivision. This temple in Chinese design was constructed in 1972 by the Chinese Taoist community. As a result of its beautiful architecture, this temple had gained popularity. Even those who do not practice Taoism visit the location. You may get a breathtaking view of the city and even Mictan Island from there. Of course, this is the best location to worship or meditate the Taoists. The next tourist attraction is the Temple of Lia which is along Cebu Transcentral Highway. In 2012, Teodorico Soriano Adana constructed this temple. The shrine serves as a reminder of his enduring devotion to Lia Villa, Albino Adana, his wife of 53 years. There are 24 chambers in the temple, including a library, an art gallery, and a museum. Moreover, Leah's favorite things and personal items are here. Moreover, the temple draws its design inspiration from ancient Greek and Roman structures. This Taj Mahal of Cebu is decorated with enormous lion statues and a beautiful stairway with brass angels. Going to the Sirau Flower Garden in the Basi neighborhood will take you to a higher location. This tourist destination is sometimes referred to as, the Little Amsterdam, because visiting there is like visiting the Netherlands. The variety of Silosia, locals call them, Berlus, flowers in vivid red, purple, yellow, and orange reminds one of Amsterdam. The windmill that has been set up and the cold breeze go well together. This provides the visitors a distinctive, touristy feeling. Moving to the nearby island of Mactan, you can visit the 10,000 Roses of Cebu. On social media, people are raving about this stunning location, which located on day as Barangay Road in Cordova, Cebu. This specific flowers cafe and more is surrounded by 10,000 fake, LED-powered roses. The majority of visitors choose to visit after dusk to view the stunning sunset and the roses lit up at night. Also, the cafe's owner, who is also an interior designer, wants to create a romantic atmosphere for lovers. The cafe serves delectable food that you may eat with your beloved while taking in the romantic atmosphere. Heading south, you could ascend Dalaguetz, pronounce it, Delage, Osmia Peak of Cebu in Mantalongan. The highest point on the entire island is Osmia Peak, which is 1,013 meters above sea level. These hills are made of limestone with sharp, projecting peaks that are ideal for photographs. The peak is a portion of the Mantalongan mountain range, which extends all the way to the Badian municipality. It is regarded as the chocolate hills of Bohol's twin. Moreover, camping and hiking are the main pursuits in this area. The two most popular hiking trails are, the first one leads from Badian and travels past Kawasan Falls. The other, however, originates in the town of Dumonjug and ends in Brgy Leong. Also, as you hike moving. The magnificent Kawasan Falls in the municipality of Badian are still in the south of Cebu. Some hikers from Osmina Peak camp before making the trek to Kawasan Falls, but you can skip camping and head straight to Kawasan via Barili. The Mantalongan Mountain Ranges Kawasan Falls is a three-stage waterfall of brilliant turquoise water. The Philippines Pearl is its waterfalls. Kawasan Canyoneering is one of the most well-liked tourism destinations in the south of Cebu. The canyoneering expedition begins at the Kanlaog River and proceeds downstream to the Kawasan Falls. All visitors are accompanied by locally qualified guides who support activities like wading, jumping, swimming, climbing, and abseiling through the streams. Be ready to be thrilled when you go canyoneering most of all.
Pescadore Island is located in the town Strait, a few kilometers south of Moalboa on Cebu Island. One of Cebu's top diving locations is there. From 5 to 10 meters down, the island's reef is a sandy slope covered in soft coral, 15 to 35 feet. A rugged coral-covered wall that descends to around 40 meters is also present, 130 feet. Sharks are among the many colorful sea creatures that are depicted in that wall. Better get your underwater camera ready to record the area's stunning corals and diverse aquatic life. The Sardine Run is another major tourist destination that is growing in popularity in this area. It's absolutely incredible that you can swim alongside millions of sardines, often referred to as herring. Prepare yourself to experience the breathtaking splendor of the undersea world by doing so. You can go swimming with the Oslov whale sharks, also referred to as Tuki, on the opposite side of the island. Oslov municipality is well known for its historic churches and stunning beaches, but whale sharks have helped make it more well known. Until a huge number of people started to travel to Oslov to observe the whale sharks being fed, local fishermen would interact with the whale sharks by feeding them. As a result, many vacationers dive or snorkel with whale sharks. Visitors to Cebu often have Oslov whale shark watching on their bucket lists because it is such a unique experience. Most importantly, you are not permitted to touch whale sharks when you come within touching distance of them. The Tumalog Falls are just a few kilometers away from the whale shark attraction. It is also located in the Oslov municipality. This body of water is known locally as the Koslov Falls, or Magambak Falls. Tumalog Falls is a cascade that resembles a curtain and fills the entire cliff with calm, clear water. The cliff's rocks are covered in moss, which filters the water and creates a curtain effect. It is very stunning and unique. As a result, this has become a popular tourist destination in Cebu. The small but charming island of Sumulan, which is still in Oslov, is where you may view the sandbar. The sandbar on Sumilan Island is well known for its crystal clear turquoise seas and immaculate white sands. It imitates a captivating tropical paradise that appeals to all kinds of tourists. The island is owned by Blue Water Resorts, as a result, staying overnight on the island is prohibited unless you are registered at Sumilan Blue Water Island Resort. But fear not, they provide day trip excursions that include lunch and a variety of activities, including snorkeling, hiking, fishing, kayaking, and more. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for other tourist spots you need to visit in Cebu. Dagang Salamat, Pit Senor.